Hi, and this is Fosung Elizabeth Cookie, CEO and Mistress Secretary of Goddesses Incorporated and the ultimate anime goddess mascot covering all things from women of the Bisojo Senshi universe, fighting video games, and women of anime. And this episode is about technology to consider for the future. Now, I may be getting ahead of myself, but I wanted to talk about the next generation of gaming. Um, usually, the console wars, which have started with, after the platform of Commodore 64 and Atari 8600, we had the 8-bit console war, 16-bit, 32-bit, and then after 32-bit, there was some stuff in between with Nintendo 64 and um, Sega Dreamcast, and then from there, the 128-bit console wars, and then where we are now with the PS3, the Xbox 360, and now the Nintendo Wii. Um, what we want to consider for the future is that now, soon, optical discs will become obsolete. The arcade world as we know it will cease to exist, and the only real competitive um, arena platform for gaming will be online and at worldwide video gaming tournaments. Um, with that said, the way we will start to get our new media will be through fiber optical media, which we will have um, enhanced internet capabilities where we will now start to download our games. Our games will be encrypted and will have a special code only for us to play on our system. So if we try to transfer out to other people's systems, we will be locked out. But of course, the hacker's world, we're going to find a way around that, just like we always do. It took us 10 to 12 years to finally crack Sega Saturn emulator for our computer to have a good working one, but we finally did that. With that said, now would be the time to start collecting optical disc cartridges for old video game systems because now they will increase in value. Usually, over time, um, when a new video game system comes out, the previous system becomes um, of no real use unless it has a special feature that the upgraded version or the new generation system does not support. Like the second, the, I believe it's the third incarnation of the PS3, um, or the second incarnation, I believe it's the, I'm sorry, the second incarnation of the PS3, the PS3 Slim, it doesn't support backwards compatibility. Um, so one would be compelled to have the previous model, the 60 gig or the 40 gig or the 20 gig to support the backwards compatibility. Um, when I think about it again, it's the third incarnation of the PS3. The PS3 Slim is the third incarnation. Sorry, because the first incarnation of the PS3 didn't have any memory chip slots. So I actually have a second generation PS3 that has an SD slot and a MS Pro Duo slot where I can transfer um, other types of media. I like to transfer between my computer, my camera, and other types of media um, to hold my music collection and my video games and downloaded AVI files. Um, with that said, I go on to the meat of this episode clip, which is the next generation of console gaming. What we hope to have is cross platforming gaming where now Sony will be able to speak to Xbox and Xbox will speak to Nintendo and vice versa in a triangular format um, and now hopefully Sega will also be able to re-enter back into the console war. For a long time there's been a rumor that Sega is releasing a new generation system. Hmm, there was an article on it about a half a year ago. My shout out to Carlos Singleton in uh, Manhattan, New York for finding the article. Um, however, when I saw the article, by the time it was already too late, and when I wanted to copy it, it was removed offline. Somebody wasn't supposed to leak that. However, the rumor is for the next generation Sega system, since they've had bad history ever after the Sega Saturn and the Dreamcast, which flopped totally in America. Um, the third system, or the fourth system, it's supposed to have backwards compatibility from Sega CD to Sega Saturn to Dreamcast and their new optical format. Um, it's supposed to support emulator support the same way Nintendo has 3DO, Genesis, regular Nintendo, 
in the way now you can actually format the Xbox 360 drive and put emulator on that and go on from there. Um, if this does happen, it will be um, a new gateway to enter the world of Sega once more, all you Sega fans out there. Um, I was never a big fan of Sonic. However, I was a big fan of Sonic's music. Big fan of Sonic's music, especially Sonic 2, taking it back to the Genesis. Yes, Chemical Plant Zone, Oily Ocean, and um, Aquatic. Um, other than that... You know, um, could we all imagine playing on the new generation Nintendo system on somebody who's playing on the new generation Sony system, um, cross-platforming gaming, being able to share files with one, with one another, hopefully not having to go through encryption codes. That's a lot of licensing issues right there that... Um, it's going to have to be filtered through. Um, I don't expect anything like that until maybe the next 10 years from now. Um, American market is still having issues with the Asia market in terms of um, allowing us to buy imported CDs, DVDs, Blu-ray, and now soon possibly um, fiber optics online media. Um, anyone who have any questions about this, thoughts, um, comments, ideas, opinions about the next generation console systems. Um, it's sad to say that PS3 did not reach its full potential, neither did any of the other new generation systems that we presently have before they start making new ones. Um, I remember before they even started PS2, PS1 was really pushed to its like max. They really pushed it to its max. They pushed Super Nintendo to its max. I remember the last fighting game for Super Nintendo I had was Street Fighter Alpha 2. Now that's pushed to the max. And yeah, with the little loading time that it had on a cartridge, it was just a beautiful game. Um, please send me your comments, your emails, your thoughts, ideas, um, anything you want me to talk about in the future, my in-depth analysis and my inept opinion, on the next generation console systems or video games or live action anime movies, etc., etc. Say cookie!